What pleased you most about Tuesday evening? The fact that we managed to come back from a very tough situation the way on Saturday, we managed to do it just looking at ourselves, seeing the things that, that we did that we could do better and and putting the 120% everyone on it. I wanted to talk to you about the two guys up front. Normally in football it takes, it's a football's a game of partnerships obviously and cohesion. It's very rare that you see two players click yeah. the way those guys did up front. Yes, I think they both did very well. Uh, as a coach, you end up analysing and, and getting into detail that maybe on the first side you, you don't realise, but I think the defensive work was superb. They put things much easier for the whole team when we were defending because their understanding of the roles and the standing of doing it together and as well that happened offensively. I think the, the team played very well for them as well, trying to supply them and, and to help them on on the on the on their mobility that they were having and on on the, the way that they were playing, and at the same time, <coughs> I was I was pleased because they they really helped us to get those three points in a moment that the team is still growing. Because in the end of the day, Alvaro came a week and a half ago, so uh, it's still early, and obviously he needs a lot of time to to learn the the British game and to learn the the club and to learn about the team. And so I think very very promising but it's a new game on Sunday and that's the start from scratch and we need to do it again. I know sometimes too much emphasis can be put on systems and formations. Are you experimenting at the moment until you find a formation that you settle on or are you going to keep it flexible? Well I, I think nowadays football is it's very important in the championship it's very important to know the opposition that you're playing against and know them very well that gives you a little bit a little bit of an edge because then you highlight their strengths, their weaknesses, and you highlight as well your weaknesses and your strength. Because if you're playing against a team that their strength is exactly the opposite as your weakness, then you might you might have to do something. Well, I think being flexible is always something very positive. We've been flexible tactically. If you compare it with the, with the use of playing two systems, for example. But the roles have been the same on the both systems. So in the end of the day, the positioning of the player has been a bit different, but the roles in the team and how do we do things has, has been the same. So we always have an anchor point, and that's very important tactically. Uh, but I want the team to be flexible because I think in the end of the day, the uh, championship requires that. But obviously I understand that's normal that as the, as the team gels more and more, they will get more stuck to, to, to this anchor point. Uh, more frequently. And finally for me in terms of players and fitness, can you update us on people like Jacques that, that are out and any possible new problems that you've got? Yeah, we have um, Maxim, that we, is, Maxim didn't play on Tuesday and he's, uh, he's been, we've been taking care of him as well. He's, he has a minor problem and we, until the last minute we, we will not know. Uh, Jake uh, got back to, to training um, after the game in Bansley and Karim is back on training as well after the game in Bansley. I'm, I'm assessing I still have another training session. I'm assessing if uh, they're, they're fit enough or, or if we hold on. We still haven't, haven't decided that, but slowly uh, the players are coming back. Magoma, we expect him to... is he's, he's, he's soon as well. It's getting closer, but not ready for this week. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much.